On a blustery November day, Wolves visited Cowden in the County Cup. In the first half, Cowden's players, Keris and Lois, gave Wolves a particularly hard time. Here is one where Lois is at the front of the arrowhead. Oh. Cowden's goalkeeper, Abby, also made it hard for Wolves to get the ball in the back of the net in the first and the second half. Here's an example of one of those occasions. Well done, Abby! Oh, ball! Oh, lucky there. Go on, pressure, pressure! Wolves did eventually score, however. After a great run by Jen Anslow down the wing, it was an easy tap-in for Jess Davis at the far post. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Keris and Lois from Cowden continued to press and they were rewarded when Keris Miller put the ball in the back of the net to equalise. Jen Anslow's performance throughout this game was astounding and here she was rewarded early on with a goal. Yes! Despite the scoreline, as I said earlier, Camden's goalkeeper, Abby, kept pulling out save after save. And here is an example of a double save that she carried out during the game. And McQuick goes on to the score card a few minutes later with this goal. Oh, what a save! The lucky Abby! And Dom Luke joined her not long before half time with this almost effortless goal. Jen Anslow continued the goal spree with this goal straight from the kickoff. Well done, Rhea. Pressure, pressure. Oh, yes. No way, that was. Minutes later, Jan added to her tally with this goal. Behind, but not defeated, Camden's keeper Abby continued to block shots from Wolves players. Here's her stopping Hattie James. When Wolves did start scoring again, surprise, surprise, it was Jen Anslow who put the ball in the back of the net. Oh, good Ooh, yes! Oh, lucky! Jenny won it. Oh, Jenny won it. Yeah. Another Wolves player who'd had a brilliant match was Jade Cross. And here she's also rewarded with a goal. To round off a happy afternoon in Warwickshire, Kim Ratcliffe stepped up to take a goal too. Oh, 
Yeah. 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 Steve Cullis and uh, Jen on lab. Jen, four goals. That is four goals, isn't it? Because I keep losing Kent. You've got to have a word with the girls every time I could. What was going through your mind in the fourth goal? Because that was tremendous. The fourth one? I think yeah. as well. She kind of put more into the goals, to be fair. But, um, there's a lot of space on that side. There was no one really picking me up. And as soon as I'd gone past the attacker, it just opened up. Um, and there wasn't always somebody in for feet on this surface. So I just thought I'd hit it and I'd, my luck's running this time. Mm. Four are flown in. So. Mm -hmm. Good, good. And Steve, tell us, a, tell us about the thought process today. I mean, that's a pretty good performance. Um, obviously, we really came to it. It gives me an opportunity to, to try to build these positions and give some of the fringe players an opportunity to play. So, yeah, the performance was good. I was, I was a little bit disappointed the first 10, 15 minutes because I think we didn't really get a hold of the game. Um, but as soon as we started to get the ball down and we started to play our football, I think we obviously controlled the tempo, controlled the rhythm of the game. It was a case of how many really, um, and I think the second half showed a real professional performance in terms of dominating the ball, limiting chances, and obviously um, scoring more goals. Obviously, Jem being one of the biggest goal threats today. Mm. It was a pretty, uh, it was a pretty good first half. Really, it really set the tone, didn't it? And uh, pretty much killed them off in the second half. Uh, what did you say to the girls at half time? More the same, really. Um, Again, I just believe in the way that we play and I believe in all the players that I send out on the pitch. So it's just having the confidence in them. So again, I send them over the same message every game. is go and enjoy yourself, be creative, um, enjoy having the ball. And I think you'll hear that from the sidelines that we want to share the ball as much as possible. We want to, want to keep possession. And again, be ruthless. Be ruthless in front of goal. Um, not, again, not trying to be disrespectful to any opposition, but we want to try and shut the game and, and finish the game off as early as possible to make the game easy for ourselves. And hopefully we did that in the first half, and again, getting a goal just after half-time obviously helps set us down. It allows us to, to showcase how good we are. Mm. Just echoing that, going on towards the uh, towards Christmas Day, how can we use this going forward for the rest of the season, Jen? Um, we've had a chance to have a lot of possession of the ball and move the ball relatively quickly so I think when we go back into our league games now we can, we can use that and have the confidence to, to pass it around and to play even worse surfaces. I mean we're lucky with Hensford but some of the away games we might have going up to Christmas uh, might be pitches similar to this and we know that we've got the confidence to sort of play on it and pass around now. So I can't see why we can't beat teams maybe four or five because we've got some of the teams that are lower down in the league coming up to Christmas so we should pick up maximum points.